What is going on YouTube? It is your boy AA9Skills and welcome back to another episode of Is he Worth It? This is when I get a play an Ultimate Team. I try and let you know if I think he's worth it. We got a special episode today because the first player on today's episode is Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. That is the chant going around Euro 2012. Why? Because the man is finally performing in the Euro. Can you believe it? It's like a miracle. Hallelujah. It's amazing. I can't believe he's performing. But anyways, uh, this is the team of the season, Cristiano Ronaldo. He goes for 1.5 million on the Xbox, 2.8 million on the PS3, and 8 million on the PC. <laughs> I feel bad for people who play on the PC. 8 million, that's incredible. Anyways, team of the season, Ronaldo. He's performing in the Euro. Can he perform in FIFA 12? 97 pace 97 shooting 90 pass 98 dribbling and 95 headering that is incredible stats ladies and gentlemen that is out of control now i've played with every single ronaldo except for the purple one i believe he has a purple one now right i think he does maybe maybe not but i play with all of them i play with this regular i play with the informs now the team of the season one and uh, let's just say, I know I'm supposed to give my review and then tell you at the end if he's worth it. But uh, this is the best card in FIFA 12. The best card in FIFA 12. It is absolutely unfair when you play with him. You know in FIFA 12 when you can like put the sliders up to make your, like, your players on the, like when you're playing the computer, you can put the sliders so your players run really, really fast and the computer players don't run at all. That's what this is. You get him. You take him into a game, and he just runs past every player on the field. He is incredible, the pace he has on him. His pace is improved. His shot is incredible. Scaling with him is unreal. Now, here's the thing. Because he goes for $1.5 million on the Xbox, $2.8 million on the PS3, and $8 million, <laughs> $8 million on the PC, uh, it's a lot. And his regular... Or, or any of his informs are just as good. To be honest, if I was going to buy a Ronaldo, I'd probably buy the regular one instead of any of his informs because his regular one is just as amazing. Um, if I was going to buy any inform, I would save up for this one. If, it, if I'm not playing with the regular one, then I would only save up for this one because this card right here is absolutely unbelievable. It's unreal. The shots are crazy. Outside the, outside the box shots are insane. Pace, man, nobody can catch him. It's not fair. They shouldn't have released this. It. kind of not fair. But Cristiano Ronaldo performing in the Euro, performing in FIFA 12. He is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best, wait, the best player in FIFA 12. This card is incredible. So is he worth it? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. Remember him? He was an awesome wrestler. Anyways, up next is Roger. Five-star skiller, Brazilian goes for 16k on the xbox and on the ps3 75 pace 77 shooting 85 pass 80 dribbling and 49 header and that, uh, that don't look at that but he's a five star skiller and like i said he is from brazil and as you can see in this clip right here he's just where you going roger you going home boss you done where you going come back the game's still on where you going come, you gotta come back why are you leaving all right Anyways, I don't really like this card. I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to say it right off the beginning. I don't like it. When you skill with him, he doesn't have the acceleration to catch back up to the ball after you do a skill move. He's so weak. He gets pushed off the ball so easily. There's silver Brazilian skillers out there that are much better than him, man. Way better. And the thing about it is, when I saw him on the market, I was like, oh, I got to get him for my Brazilian skill team. Uh, I should have because he's really really bad man. I don't like him one bit I'd rather play with Wellington silver up front or left wing or left mid There's just so many better options in my opinion uh, Than Roger I, when I looked at his card. I was like man nice stats five-star skiller. This is gonna be good But I feel like he has a weak shot um, Like I said, he's, he's very 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 slow man at 77 pace You can usually get away with that when it's a skiller. I actually like players that are slow with five star skills because i don't know i just uh it's easier for me to do skill moves i guess but with him i thought he was gonna be like wonderful and uh well he ah man he's just so bad i, I don't like him i don't like him one bit man stats look good but 
He's terrible. So when you look at his card, you're going to be like, yo, that's wonderful stats. And then you're going to play with him. Like, for example, example. It's like when you see a really, really hot girl. And you're like, yo, she's hot, man. And then you go talk. And you're like, yo, what up, girl? And she's like, hey, what's going on? And then she just has the worst attitude in the world. Worst personality. She's terrible. She's always moody. And you're just like, oh, dude, dude. No way. No way. That's how Roger is. You see his car, you're like, that's amazing. And then you play with you like, ah, oh, dude, no way. Up next is Raul Garcia. The Spanish man plays in the BBVA. Sells for 35K on the Xbox, 40K on the PS3, and probably 10 million on the PC. I'm just guessing, but that's probably a good guess. Uh, he has a two, he only has two star skills, three star weak foot, 88 shooting, 85 passing and uh, 72 pace, but 85 dribbling and 82 headering. So you look at his stats, and the only one that you probably look at is his pace that's really slow because uh, his pace is kind of low, but he has 84 defending too. And the first thing I noticed when I played with him was, dude, I could play this guy at defensive mid, cam, anywhere in the midfield because he has the defensive stats. Uh, his trait is playmaker, so he's always making stuff happening. His pass is really good. The thing I like the most about him is his long shot. His long shot is epic. I don't really hit multiple long shots in one game, but with this guy, I've hit uh, in one game, I hit two and really got close to getting the third one. Um, his shot is just incredible. His passing is really good. And like I said, the, the thing that's so great about him is you could play him as a holding mid or you could play him as a cam and he'll just work absolutely anywhere. And that that is the thing that I think sets him apart from a lot of midfielders in the BBVA. Wonderful stats all over the place and an absolute wonderful shot on him and I can't I can't tell you how great his shot is you just have to play with him and 35k on Xbox 40k on PS3 for a player with this kind of stats you gotta say yo that's not too expensive um, that's really not bad at all and <laughs> well you just see in the long shots I fit with him that one was kind of weird it kind of bounced right in front of the keeper but I guess when you have 88 shooting that's what happens um, Raul, Raul Garcia is uh, probably, I know I'm going to go go out on a, I don't even know, I'm, people are probably going to be like, yo, you're crazy, but he has to be my second favorite Spanish player. A lot of people are going to be like, Skills, Xavi, Nesta, in the game, my favorite Spanish player is Fernando Torres, the informed version, and then my second favorite Spanish player has to be this man right here. Is he worth it? Ladies and gentlemen, the man is an absolute Beast. I love this player. If I would recommend any player from Izzy worth it to you, I'd recommend him. He is that good. Play him anywhere. He's amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the episode of Izzy worth it for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments down below who you guys would want to see next on Izzy worth it. And remember, let me know what your opinions are, any of these players are, uh, in the comments down below. And um, remember, this is just my opinion. So if you still want to try one of the players that said they weren't worth it, like Roger, Go out there and try them, man. And then let me know in the comments down below if you like them. But that's the episode for today. Hope you guys like. The like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'm your boy, AA9Skills. And I will see you tomorrow.